and welcome to Kentucky for Review. I'm Prairie Dog. Special K. Tonight we're going to be talking about Elysian Split Shot Espresso Milk Stout. And uh, it's important to note, it does contain lactose if you're lactose intolerant, and it's 6% alcohol by volume. Uh, we've gotten a lot of requests for this beer, so we're really excited to go ahead and give you a, a review. Uh, stouts are actually one of my personal favorites, so I'm especially excited to be able to try this one. What about you? Uh, I like stouts a lot. Um, milk stouts are really good. It's interesting to see milk stout with actual, like some milk stouts don't put actual milk in them. This, if this has lactose in it, I expect this to be pretty creamy. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope it's creamy. We'll find out, won't we? Oh yeah, I pour yours, that one very hard, so I mean. Try to pour them out a little hard. You gotta pour it out. It's kind of hard to get a head. All right. Thank you. So you cannot see through it. It's nope. very dark. Head is khaki. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells wonderful. Wow. You definitely pick up the, the coffee tone. It smells like cold coffee. So mm -hmm. It smells like an iced coffee. Sweet. It smells like an iced coffee with cream. It really does. Yeah. Oh, it smells wonderful. We we just got done from a concert and it's kind of late this is this seems like a perfect perfect <laughs> pick me up right all right let's try it let's get drunk that is fantastic that is so smooth that's so good i mean there's just enough in there that you you know you're drinking beer but it's not even a hard drink uh, wow that's good um tiny tiny bit of bitterness towards the back end super creamy uh, nice coffee taste. It's almost, yeah, it's almost like a more of an iced coffee than a beer. Yeah. That's uh, really good. Perfect sweetness. Yeah. Perfect. It's so balanced. Mm -hmm. It's not overpowering. It's not offensive in any way. Mouthfeel medium. It's not, yeah. it's not heavy. It's medium. Yeah. I mean, you definitely feel the carbonation and stuff, but it's not overpowering. Um, I was, I don't say this about sounds. I could chug this. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. That's wonderful. This is easily the most balanced stout that I've ever had. This might be dull to some people, mm -hmm. but I find it very well balanced. Uh, not too bitter. It's not too creamy. Not too much coffee. It's it's it, it's perfectly balanced yeah. all the way around. There's nothing. There's no one note that is taking over the other. It's just it's perfect. Um, man, this is good. I'll show a whole six pack of this. Um, I will definitely say. I mean, if you're new to craft beer and this is something you want to get into. What a great way to start it off! Absolutely. If yeah. you're gonna, if you want your first stout, uh, if you want to know what your first stout should be, uh, this one. This is Absolutely. my first time. This is our first time having this beer. So yeah, uh, this is so good. We didn't pregame or anything. No. I mean, we were pregaming, but not this beer. No. So let's rate this. Uh, price is uh, eleven fifty for a six pack. Mm -hmm. Completely reasonable for a stout. Uh, I'm sure it varies from area to area. That's what it is here. This beer for me, it's excellent. It's a 10. Oh my god. I had to prepare myself for this one. It's a 10. It's a 10. Uh, I, there's nothing wrong with it. I think the price is correct for a craft beer. I don't have any issues with it. Um, could it be cheaper? Obviously, every, it obviously could be cheaper, but at, at the price that it is, at least what we paid for it here, it's correct. I have an issue with it. It's perfectly balanced. Everything is where it needs to be, at least in my palate. It may be different for you, but for me, it's a perfect 10. I'm, I'm still blown away by this 10. I mean, really, I Rare, don't think I, I ever see this. We rarely give 10s. I think I might have given like maybe two or three on the show. And it's, we've done 1,000 videos, so that's, you know, rare. Um, I'm not going to echo the 10, just kind of on principle. But wow, this beer though, wow. Uh, it's gonna be a nine. I mean, it is incredible. Really, it's fantastic. Again, as we said, if you just wanted to taste, you know, you wanna get into craft beer, it's got you covered. It's easy to drink, it's well balanced, it's an excellent example of the stout. Um, and it's just delicious. I mean, it is really. delicious. Yeah. Um, and I like stouts, but it's not my go-to. My go-to, you know, is pale ales. I like pale ales. So stouts are something I have every once in a while, and I would have one. This. I'd be cool with 10. Yeah. I mean, really. Especially if you love coffee. If you love coffee and you love I beer, do you love have to I try like this. coffee a lot. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Highly recommend this beer. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Especially for the price. That's right. so reasonable. For, for, yeah, and you know, sometimes I'm a little iffy on paying, like 12 bucks is my limit on most craft beers. 
Uh, any more than that, I think it's overpriced. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, this is a stout, so it takes it takes a lot more to make a stout than it does to make a, a you know a golden laundry. You know what I mean? So right. I expect this to be to be a little bit more. Um, so yeah, highly recommend you. Oh right, yeah, highly recommend. Absolutely. All right, well that's been our episode. If you want to see other beers on the channel, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K, and I'm Prairie Dog. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.